In this video, we're going to talk about the scalar multiplication of vectors. And what exactly is scalar multiplication? When it comes to vectors, here it is. k times v is equal to ka times the unit vector i plus kb times the unit vector j. Now you might be wondering, what is this? v is a vector. A vector is something that has magnitude and direction. So for instance, force is a vector. You can apply a force of 100 newtons, east, west, north, south. So force is something that can have magnitude and direction. So that's v. v is a vector. k is a scalar quantity. A scalar quantity is something that has magnitude but no direction. For instance, temperature is a scalar quantity. It can have magnitude. It could be 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It could be 90 degrees Fahrenheit, but it doesn't have direction. You can't say it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit west. That doesn't, have, that doesn't work. So the scalar multiplication of vectors, what it really is is just a number multiplied by a vector. So for instance, let's say we have the vector v. And let's say it's 3i minus 4j. If we put a 2 in front of it, we've multiplied the vector by the scalar quantity of 2. 2 is the scalar quantity. So 2v would be 2 times 3i minus 4j, which will give us 6i minus 8j. So you can multiply a vector by any number. And what's going to happen is it's going to change the length of the vector. So let's make a graphical representation of v. So if we were to plot it, think of i as the x value and j as the y value. So a vector that's 3i and negative 4j, to draw it, we need to travel three units to the right four units down and then the hypotenuse of this triangle would represent the vector v so this is v now if we multiply v by 2 we're gonna it's gonna double in left so that's 2v so that's the scalar multiplication of vectors now what about negative 3v what's the value for that Negative 3v is just going to be negative 3 times vector v, which is 3i minus 4j. So it's going to be negative 9i plus 12j. Here, notice the x component is positive and the y component is negative. Now, because we multiplied v by a negative value, x is now negative, y is positive. So what's going to happen is the vector is going to change direction. So it's going to be three times long, but because of the negative sign, it's going to go in the opposite direction. So that is negative 3v. So let's work on some practice problems. Let's say vector v is 2i minus 5j, and vector w is negative 3i plus 6j. Go ahead and find the values for these vectors. So 4v and negative 7w. Go ahead and multiply each of those vectors by the corresponding scalar quantity. So for this one, 4v is just going to be 4 times 2i minus 5j. So it's going to be 8i minus 20j. As you can see, this is not too difficult. For the next one, we have negative 7w. So it's negative 7 times negative 3i plus 6j. So we need to distribute negative 7 times negative 3i. That's positive 21i. And then negative 7 times 6j is going to be negative 42j. 
So that's basically it for this video. So now you understand what is meant by the expression scalar multiplication of vectors. Basically, you're multiplying the vector by a number, like 2, 3, or negative 5.